Hey everybody, it's Rosa and today's video is going to be a video on this makeup look right here. I was inspired by the new palette that I just got from Morphe, which is the 12S palette. And this is what it looks like. It's just a gorgeous golden palette. And it has a burgundy and a gunmetal color in there. So I thought it would be kind of fun to do a video using this palette. I'm also using the new translucent powder by Morphe. I really like this. It's super smooth, super finely milled. And it sets everything really well, actually. I'm very impressed by it. This is going to be a full face makeup tutorial. So I hope you guys are going to like that. I haven't done that in a while. And let me just stop rambling and let's just get into the video. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't yet to join the Briar Patch family. And let's just go ahead and get started with the video. So I'm going to be starting off with Time Bomb by The Bomb. This is a really great primer that really cleans up all of the pores. And I'm going to be putting that on my T-zone and then working it outward. Next, I'm going to be going in with my Naked Skin Foundation. And I'm going to be stippling that on my face with a dense foundation brush. This brush is by RC Cosmetics. And then I'm going to be blending it out with the same brush as well. Then I'm going to be going in with my Naked Skin Concealer, and this one is a shade or two lighter than my skin tone, so it actually brightens as well as highlights. And I'm just going to be going in with the same brush I used my foundation with and blending that out. And then hard to reach areas, like between my brows, I will use my fingers to blend it out. Next, for contour, I'm going with my Too Faced Cocoa Contour Palette, and I'm going in first with my Medium con Contour Powder in there. And then I'm just going to be contouring my cheeks as well as temples, forehead, and then underneath my jawline. Now to bronze that up a little bit, I'm going to be going in with Deep Cocoa from the same palette and just kind of making it more of a bronzy, orangey type contour. I won't be putting this anywhere else on my face besides my cheekbones. Then I'm going to be going in with Light Cocoa and I'm just going to be setting everywhere that I put that concealer. Going in with the Morphe Translucent Powder, I'm just going to be setting my entire face. This stuff is amazing. It really mattifies everything. So if you guys are into the matte look, then you're going to like this stuff. Now I'm going in with my favorite blush ever. This is the Modical Blush in Peach Bellini. And I'm just going to use a really tiny, cute little kabuki brush from BH Cosmetics to apply it. Now going in with this ColourPop highlighter in Wisp, I'm just going to be highlighting the points where I would normally highlight. And I was watching Iron 210, don't judge me. <laughs> now going in with eyes, I'm going to be using Painterly Paint Pot by MAC, my holy grail, and just priming my eyes with that as well as color correcting. Now I'm going to be going in with the Morphe palette. This is the 12S palette. I'm obsessed with this palette and it's all gold color so I was really excited to use it. I'm going to be going in with this gold right here and putting that all over my lid up to my brow bone. Next, going in with this darker kind of antique gold, I'm going to be using that to define my crease. And I'm using a really flimsy brush for this because I want it to be a little bit more precise. I don't know if that makes sense, but this brush is really great. It's by BH Cosmetics. Now I'm going to be going in with this rose gold color, and I'm just going to be putting that, concentrating it on the end of my eyes, and bringing it forward. Next, I'm taking a mixture of these two colors right here and just concentrating it on the edge of my eye. And then bring it forward to blend it out. Then I'm bringing a little bit of it down as well because we're going to be using it as a gradient with, these, with this gunmetal color. And I'm just going to be putting that gunmetal color all over my 
lower eyelash line. Now for liner, I'm just going to go in with my Girlactic liner and just line my eye. I'm going to be using a very thin liner today and a really thin cat eye today. So I thought this one would be perfect because it's pretty much the most precise liner I have. So it works really great. Now I'm going to go in with my handy dandy eyelash combo. I love this mascara combo. It's amazing. So after I go in with my mascara combo, I'm going to be going with Mr. Right Now. I will put the actual name of this color down below. I'm not 100% sure what it is. I just found out these had names. I had no idea these had names because I thought I've only had the colored one, the one that's flesh colored. I never knew they came in other colors. And then next I'm going to be going in with Bound for my lips. We're at that final stage, lip time. And I'm just going to be overlining my lips as well. I have a whole video on how I overdraw, kind of overline my lips to make them look bigger. I will link it down below as well as notated here in the video if you guys want to check that out. Sorry about the lighting change. I don't know what the heck happened. Um, but I'm going to be a little warm for the next couple of segments. Next I'm going to be going in with the Juicy. This is a Hyper Glossy by Colourpop and I thought it would be great just to make my lips look a little bit more full. And now I'm just defining my Cupid's bow a little bit. And that was the tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is a really fun kind of look. Also, it's really great for everyday type look if you're looking to kind of make a little dramatic change to your everyday work makeup. I love this palette a lot. There's a little bit of fallout, so you have to be careful with it. But this tutorial was so much fun to film. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please make sure to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't yet to join this uh, Briar Patch family. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.